everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Another glorious day here. I hope it's sunny where you are. Oh, summer has begun, guys. Summer has begun. I hope you're doing very well. Oh, I've got some funny stories for you guys days. Well, I think they're funny. They really did make me chuckle. One of them made me sick, but we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Sticking with the hot dog theme, not intentionally, but it just happened, okay? So this lady called Miss Kathy McVeigh, she was watching a Philadelphia, Philadelphia Phillies baseball match. And they have a mascot who is famous for his shenanigans. He is named Philly Fantic. He, yes, this green fluffy mascot with a nose like a horn was firing hot dogs out of an oversized cannon. And this poor lady, Miss McVeigh, got fired right in the face with a hot dog. <laughs> Oh, I know you shouldn't laugh, but oh my god. So this is what she said. The next thing I know, he shot in our direction and BAM! It hit me like a ton of bricks. My glasses flew off. And I'm telling you guys, being a glass glasses wearer, if something hits you that hard in the face, it makes your glasses fly off. That did hit her so, so hard. It came out of nowhere and hard. It hasn't put her off going though. She's still going to support her favourite team, the Philadelphia Phillies. And... Oh my god, her poor face. Look at this poor lady's face. She is bruised, she was rushed to the hospital to make sure she didn't have concussion, concussion from this hot dog that was fired out of this cannon. Oh my god, only in America guys, only in America. That is just fantastic. And she did say actually that people can laugh at her misfortune. So I, I'm very pleased. <laughs> Could you imagine getting hit? I don't think people would believe you. How did you get your black eye? Oh. How did you do that? Got hit in the face by a hot dog for an oversized cannon. <laughs> oh, it's just unbelievable, that poor lady. She must have been sitting there like, ah, who fires hot dogs out of cannons? It's just, I have to go and see this. I will have to go and see this. Moving on to some woman who, well, she just, she's phoned the police on a little eight-year-old girl. Okay, this woman, this woman phone the police on an eight-year-old girl who was selling water on her in her garden to raise money to go to Disneyland. Now that is really cute and I know if I saw someone who's selling little bottles of water because actually I've seen a few children selling all their toys on the side of the road and I think oh that is so cute like 50p 50p and I think oh, I will love you that is so cute but this woman Alison Ettel have phoned the police on this little girl and she was confronted the little girl's cousin was recording her and this woman, who, is, who they have named Permit Patty, <laughs> she was on the phone to the police. The lady was like, what are you doing? She's allowed to sell water if she wants to, not without a permit. She's eight years old, for God's sake. She's eight years old. What a sad, sad woman. Anyway, the cousin uploaded this to Twitter. It went absolutely viral. Got six million views and the comments. I can imagine Permit Patty... You need to look at your life, love, because that, leave the eight-year-olds alone. Look at your own life, look at your own life. But anyway, through this Twitter, the six million views, a really, really kind lady or gentleman donated four Disneyland tickets to her and her family. And I thought, that is fantastic. That is all she was doing it for, to raise a bit of money. It took her a long time. It'll take her an awful amount of time, unless she was selling hot dog water, 30, $38 a bottle. She would probably get there quite quick. But the police didn't turn up on this occasion. Do you know why? Because it's not serious. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord they didn't. And this woman, what is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you? Leave the children alone. Just leave them alone. And for you, permit Patty, well, you better have a word of yourself. Make sure you've got permits for everything. <laughs> okay. This, this, I could not believe what I was watching. Okay? I could not believe but this woman has had loads of comments on why she looks so good and she's got this lovely glow about her and and she revealed to everyone why and how she has this perfect glow okay oh she drinks her dog's urine yes she drinks her dog's pee Oh my God, guys, look, I reacted. I don't know, I recorded myself watching this because it did make me physically sick. So let's just watch the video, shall we? Many of you have asked me how I always look so good, how my makeup always looks so perfect, or how I always have this natural glow. Here's my secret. 
Muito velho. No, no. Mm. Smell. <coughs> She's not taking it down. Oh my god, look at her. She's drinking it like it's orange juice. Ugh. That is disgusting, you savage. Until I first drank my dog's pee, I was depressed, I was sad, and I had really bad acne. Dog pee also has vitamin A in it, it has vitamin yeah, A. Yeah, so does supplement tablets. She's licking the rim. <laughs> that is disgusting. That's why I look so much better than y'all. That's why you look better than us. Eh, I'd rather look like a savage than drink dog piss. Oh. oh. Why? Why do it, you crazy woman? Was you walk your dog in the park carrying a little cup with you and go, come on, time for a wee now. That's it. It's got a nice frothy head on it. <laughs> Sick. And she was going on about how she was depressed and she had acne and she was really sad. So she decided to drink urine to cheer herself up. Not just any urine, her dog's urine. Yes, because it's full of vitamin A and E and it's got 10 grams of calcium. Do you know what, love? Supplement tablets have that as well. You could drink some milk. You could go and eat an orange. You can go and sit in the sun for vitamin D, but no. You decided for your youthful glow to go and drink your dog's pee. You are not right. And she even added on the end, I don't know if you heard it, it's proven to fight cancer. That has not been scientifically proven. So do not go and drink your dog's wee because it'll, it'll make you better. It, it just won't. I could not, I've got two male dogs, Bijan and a Rottweiler. I could not think of anything worse. Even if there was no water, I would not be drinking Chips we. Oh it's just the smell and wow. It's given her a glow. It's given her a glow. A luminescent pissy glow. Nice. People, the people, doctors, scientists have said the only time, the only time you should drink your own pee or dog's pee is if you're stranded and there's no food or water for days. Even then, that's pushing it a bit. I'd rather go and find some tarpaulin, dig a hole in the sand with a little pot underneath and collect the condensation that falls, even if it's a bit dirty, than drink my own dog's pee. What is wrong with you, you crazy, crazy woman? Oh, urine is definitely off the menu. Why? Why would you upload a video of you doing this, standing in your local park with your dog cocking its leg and you've got a cup collecting it, and then, then she had the audacity to drink it, then, lick round the rim, scrape inside and get the rock. That, you are savage. Absolutely savagery. Moving on from the lady who drinks pee to a quick update on Love Island. Oh my God, guys, the couples are falling apart. They are literally falling apart. Got Alex and Ellie, the doctor and the little blonde. She, as soon as they were coupled, she has not made any effort. So Alex went in for the kill and then she walked off and they are not a couple anymore. Megan and Eel. Megan, well, first of all, he wanted to have fun. She said, you don't really have fun. And now she's thinking, well, what is this about? And now, next episode tonight, she goes and kisses Wes. Laura's staring at him with dagger eyes. Oh my God, guys, it is hitting the fan. It is hitting the fan with Love Island. They're all falling apart. Oh, but Danny and Jack, they are girlfriend and boyfriend. That is like so cute. I am so pleased one couple at least in there is happy. Samira and Sam, they seem quite happy, but you, you just don't know with Love Island. I'm really looking forward to tonight's episode. I cannot wait, but it is all falling apart. It is time for Tuesday Thoughts with Cool Catch. Indeed, indeed. So, today's one I really, really liked as it just feels true for me it just feels true so here we go so why do we close our eyes when we pray 
cry, kiss or dream. Because the most beautiful things in life are not seen, but felt by the heart. Which is so true. It's the, I always say to everyone, it's not the big things in life you do, it's the small things that really count. Saying to someone they look beautiful or just being there for someone and being supportive and just it's just the small things about being asked it's just making a cup of coffee with made with love or just being just feeling appreciated it's just the small things in life and when you guys leave a lovely comment and leave me a thumbs up that is really one of those oh it's felt by the heart and i cannot tell you how much it means but guys remember to be true to yourselves do what you love and don't let people bring you down because there are people out there that are so miserable they have to destroy everyone else's lives but we are gonna stand up to those haters and we're gonna say no because we are a team team kedge oh indeed but guys i hope you're having a lovely tuesday today it's been fantastic talking to you as always you amazing people and remember to leave a video a cheeky thumbs up subscribe to cool kedge tv and check out my other videos as that really would mean the world i look forward to seeing you soon guys see you later bye Good catch TV! Yeah.